We are about to go on a tour here at the Parallax Expo. This is a special toy makers tour. Excellent. Maybe the training room used to be in here? This is Chip's and then the training room. Yeah. This used to be Chip's office. Whoa. Oh. So now there's a giant machine. Now there's a great big uh, CNC oh. uh, router table. So. That's nice. Yeah. Look at that block of... Wow. Let me see if I can get Kevin. Oh, here he is. Hey! Oh, let's get this thing going. This is uh, okay. going to start a fresh cut. Oh. We got the laser cutter over here. Oh. So all the elevator stuff's made on the laser cutter. Yeah, that's a killer. Now, you know, with your little uh, PCB prototyper, when you put that video up the other day, I mentioned the tool changer. Yeah. This has the tool changer. That is all automatic. Yeah, that big. Um, it's back on that back side of it, and uh, it's pretty impressive when it starts flipping through. It saves a lot of time, too. It's going to route out the material, drill all the holes, it's going to set them once and run them out. Who makes the tooling that you guys use? Is it LPK? What's the tooling? Who makes the tooling for that? Do you know who we buy? Well, we buy our tools from a couple different places. Uh, Harvey Tools is a good one that we got our... They're the only ones that carry a down flute. Both flute. It's specifically made for the vacuum tables. And for like a half inch bit, it's about 125 bucks. There's a company that not a lot of guys know about yet out of Michigan that makes really, really good Haas tools that last longer and you can cut with a higher speed called uh, Iskar. Have you guys oh, heard yeah, of them yet? That. Iskar? We've actually got a bunch of their tools in our, in our bin over here. Cool. And so that, that is what we use for like our three and four head mills. Yeah. Yeah, we use them all the time. So we have the two Haas uh, mini mills here and uh, Ken actually started out with one of these garage until, you know, I'm sure Mary Beth said, I'd like to have my garage back. <laughs> yeah. But he actually uh, had a miniature version of the, uh, the, the router table too, because he learns how to use it and then brings it here and does things like this at home. And then once he gets a product wow, rolling that's amazing. and starts doing it, then we bring it here and start to make it. So a lot of the stuff just starts in Ken's garage, really. That's amazing. This is this is the most impressive to me that you can make a wheel for a robot that. Just machine nut of yeah. solid aluminum. Yeah. Wow. How long does something like that take to mill? You know what, I'm not sure. We'd have to ask Ken. Joe Grant? Oh no, I, I knew you were Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the uh, toy makers. Yep. Uh, they become Come kind of famous around here because they're oh, doing yeah. podcasts. Hi. I've uh, uh, followed your uh, oh. uh, first spin. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> really helped so you got. Yeah. So oh, good. But he makes here a pair of yeah. so you got I guess. Brand <laughs> you guys are going to start cool. manufacturing the Emic, my Emic module here pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I know. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Once you do, I think I might have to come back, come, come by and visit. And watch yeah. Them, yeah. I'll send you the first couple of hot off the press. Yeah. You get well, I'll have to test them anyway. Yeah. I can maybe come up here for that and save time. Yeah. It's exciting for you. Know, wow, this is so cool. That's yeah. going to be putting your boards together. Usually, if you're sending that stuff off to somebody, once you get the volume, yeah. you don't get to see the factory. But because it's kind of local, that's cool. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, what are you guys uh, making right now? I didn't even know people are starting to get it. Oh, man. Cool. Matt used to be this fast before we had the machine, but he got really tired quick, so this is good. Oh, yeah, I used to do this by hand. <laughs> what do you yeah, do? Turn the light out. What do you do with your parts that don't come in reels? Do you have to reel them? Uh, no, we don't do that yet. We'll, we'll just put them in like what belts and laboratory feeders. Yeah. So they kind of stay in the stick. Oh, I can put them in there. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it's obviously better to have reels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know the reels. They always come out for yeah. right. yeah. 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 it. Yeah. That would be awkward. That would be awkward if they were put in backwards. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah. 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 No matter how many times I see this stuff, it's like I think I've <laughs> probably seen that. Are you gonna get yourself one of these? Like twenty. I've uh, probably twenty times I've seen this stuff. Like, yeah, it's cool. cool. Yeah. I know I can on YouTube. Now, but it's yeah. fun, yeah. man. I mean, it's, yeah. it's really cool. No, it's like, man, I'm just gonna video this and watch it all the time. 
I'm gonna show it to Ben. He's gonna love it. Do you have a I know he's better than you. Oh. He's a lot of here. Yeah, it is. The XB USB adapter. Hi, guys. Hello. Look, Whisker, they have so many USB XB adapters. That's a uh, Eddie book. Are these some quick starts? Yep. Oh! I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's like a solder machine or a wave solder machine before. So, um, normally when you solder any type of through hole, you use an iron and solder. So, what this does is um, there's a solder pot and a, a pump that shoots. Um, kind of like a well and shoots up um, the well and creates a fountain of solder. So let me turn that on for you. Oh, go for it. Sorry, I'm in your way. <laughs> uh, turn on the side. Pump on. So you see it on that or on the screen. And it's just going to gush out a. Oh, like a bubble. Bubble of solder. Ooh. So that, that's how it looks at max. Just, uh huh. But um, I'm changing to the right setting. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Look how thick the solder is in the back. Oh my god, is that... Cool. Oh wow. Uh, more like the setting we want it to be. So... Oh, that's smooth like butter. Yeah, you don't want to... <laughs> you don't need to max it out. Yeah. So oh, lick it. What's so gonna happen? <laughs> I'm gonna run it. And what's gonna happen is gonna... It's gonna go underneath and solder and flux and solder the bottom side of it. So you really can't see the bottom side of it. But the camera, we have a camera on the bottom side and you can see what's happening about so let me run it yeah. so, right now it's gonna be fluxing the bottom side oh freaking awesome you really can't see it on this angle but if you look on top you could kind of see the parts kind of wobbling around because the flux is hitting it okay so now oh, it's time for there. the soldering part I'll maximize Whoa. the screen so you get a better Whoa. view of it Oh my gosh. So that means just soldering all those points. That's 13 um, leaves right there. That's so sexy so on so many spikes, levels. Isn't it? Soldered all that. And so you, you, you set the machine to tell it which solder points you want. X, Y coordinates, where you want to solder. Now would that work if, say you want to do the first, like say you want to not solder one of the pins in the middle? Can it do that, or does it? You could. I some spacing requirement. Probably some spacing because it's kind of hard to stop midway. Kind of. Yeah. If we could probably use a smaller nozzle, and because this oh, is okay. a big head uh, nozzle, so it kind of it's kind of yeah. hard to control it. Yeah. So, but if you get something really small, you can probably be a little more precise. So, um, this um, these modules. There's eight individual modules, and it takes about. A minute to a minute, 18 seconds just to run one. But when we're hand soldering, it was about 45 seconds to a minute for right. each one. So um, this is eight. We just one, it took almost a minute. Really. So, right, right. Now we can do like eight within a minute. So. Wow. Cool. So we need to look for two, eight, oh, no. Two, eight, oh, one, four. Two, eight, oh, one, Hey, does that look familiar? No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> how much of this stuff do you make versus buy and sell? Uh, you know, I don't know what the mix is. We used to do more in China. We're doing more in-house now. The balance is changing a bit. Just the dynamics of the way things are over there. Hmm. Okay, you guys know what that is? Oh, here they are. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 28140. <laughs> That's the RFID reader. Ah. This is the Bobot robot kit. I haven't seen it. It's been a many years. It's been a great product. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.